It's Saturday afternoon, early evening. Um, we've just finished Plenary 4, which is, uh, was about conflicts and coalitions um, in the Middle East. Um, and uh, this comes actually as we've just heard news that uh, Daesh, the Islamic State, have claimed to have shot down a Russian civilian airliner uh, over the Sinai coming out of Sharm el-Sheikh. Um, which, uh, if it is true, um, is A, appalling, and B, uh, a reflection of not just the complexity, but also the brutality, and what will probably be the durability of, of these multifaceted conflicts that we see in the region at the moment. And one of the problems, it seems to me, is that where these conflicts are enduring and reflect serious fault lines uh, and fissures in uh, the social and political fabric of the region. The coalitions that have been assembled uh, to, uh, to deal with them, whether it's in Yemen uh, or in uh, Libya and North Africa, the Sahel, uh, or in Iraq and Syria, are not just all different, um, but they keep shifting. Um, so if you look at what's happening in Syria, where there are probably about a dozen, at least a dozen, and maybe more, uh, uh, groups fighting on the uh, on the opposition uh, side, and these range from organizations like the Free Syrian Army uh, on one side to the Islamic State with the, all their horrific, sacralized savagery uh, uh, on the other. Even within these groups, these groups form coalitions, and these coalitions uh, uh, form blend, merge, metastasize, change and fall apart. And in a way, in a paradoxical and, and, and slightly bizarre way, we see the same thing on the other side as well. Um, so, uh, so Russia comes in uh, and, uh, uh, and claims to attack Daesh, but actually doesn't attack Daesh, attacks elements of the Free Syrian Army and bits of what are called, it's called Jaysh al-Fatah up in the north. The Turks come in uh, uh, a few months ago and say that they are now joining the anti-Islamic state, the anti-Daesh coalition, but instead uh, direct an awful lot of their activity towards the Kurds. The Kurds themselves, in the form of the of the YPG up in up in the north east of Syria, uh, have claimed to be attacking Daesh. But it's been clear uh, over the last three years that on many occasions they have actually been, in some sense, um, uh, uh, I wouldn't say colluding, but certainly uh, aligning with some of the things they do with with regime operations. Uh, and then we have the whole issue of uh, of the the coalition air campaign uh, over uh, Syria and Iraq, which uh, uh, some members of which uh, hit targets in Iraq, some of them hit targets in in Syria, but uh, but very few of them attack targets in both places. And in Iraq, uh, we hit uh, the uh, Islamic State. In Syria, we say the principal political uh, push should be for the removal uh, or the tra a transitional government uh, with uh, uh, Bashar al-Assad uh, stepping down and, and not coming back. Um, but uh, on the other hand, um, we have uh, the Russians saying uh, that they will support Bashar al-Assad and the Iranians saying that this is absolutely fundamental to their purposes. We've just had the meeting in Vienna uh, 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 yesterday on Syria, where all the people who are engaged in these mutually contradictory um, uh, and uh, multifaceted uh, alliances have got together and tried to map out uh, a, a shared understanding uh, of where we are and a shared understanding of what the route ahead is. Um, I really hope, I really hope this works. We listened to the, to the, uh, the Saudi foreign minister this morning, Idel Joubert, talking about this and saying himself that he hoped in two weeks' time when the, uh, the, uh, the, the country's president in Vienna reconvene that they will be able to form a united front uh, uh, and uh, forge a common way ahead. There's a bit of me that thinks we have been here before. Um, and, and I think this, in a sense, makes, makes, makes what's happening in, 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 in Syria and in Iraq even more appalling and even more tragic. The, the, the failure of uh, the international community, such as it is, to, to, to unite behind a common vision. Uh, the failure of the various groups inside Syria who are 
who, were, who arose out of the, the, uh, the insurgencies of, of 2011 to form a credible, coherent and civilised um, uh, uh, common mission um, to, uh, to regenerate, restructure, stabilise and rebuild Syria. Uh, all indexes of, of the way we have collectively failed, I think, the Syrian people. Um, the fact that this has been uh, a, a central issue, not just in, uh, in the sessions specifically devoted to this issue today uh, and yesterday in the Manama Dialogue, um, but in a way underlie all the sessions we've had and will underlie all the special sessions we have tomorrow as well, uh, is an indication of how, of how critical this is, but also how difficult it is to solve. If there's one thing I hope comes out of the Manama Dialogue this year, I, I, I hope it is this sense, this, this sense that, that, a, a greater sense of, of, of common purpose uh, and, 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 and a belief and a belief that we can, in some way, reach um, a more purposeful, uh, shared understanding uh, of what needs to be done. Um, we'll have the sessions tomorrow, we'll have the closing uh, ceremony tomorrow, the last plenary, um, and then we'll reflect. But this is clearly going to be a process that doesn't just stop uh, uh, tomorrow or next week or in two weeks' time when Vienna reconvenes. This is something um, uh, that needs urgently to be sustained and continued um, over the months and perhaps years uh, ahead. Thank you.